This week, we continue with the concrete countertops in our earth bag kitchen. Garen and Ellie create an office space, and we repurpose an old sweatshirt. It's been about uh, three days, four days now, three days I guess, and we have let this dry well enough that I'm gonna go ahead and take the side panels off and then begin to start evaluating when it's time to start sanding and grinding and polishing our top. Siding. Ooh. Ooh, it's tough. Yeah. The edges are real nice. Probably a little bit of filling now and then, but for the most part, they're in real good shape. Yeah, they feel so strong and smooth. Let's take this off. Well, no comment? Um, no, I'm happy. Yeah, yeah a little bit of repair work there. But the edges wow. and corners are like, gotta be real careful with them. So we'll let them dry just as much further. So beautiful. We had a small problem not putting the bright side of the millipling on the wrong side. So I'll have to touch that up. But I have to touch up a lot of stuff, so that's okay. You can see the difference. Yeah, that big one. difference compared to these edges here. Taking the molds off. Oh. <laughs> no, this is really cool. It's really breaking the mold, huh? Yeah, yeah, really breaking the mold. What are you gonna do with these like fill-ins here, Dad? Just fill them with concrete. Yeah. Back when we were hearing about all the cancer news, the whole kitchen thing was kind of like on hold. I weren't even thinking about that and the stress of everything kind of going on at that time. Our minds were totally diverted to health and trying to pull things back together that way. Yeah, the news that we were getting at the end of September was so bad. And we counted up, it was four doctors. You know, they're patting my hand and they're, they're just acting like this is like the worst thing ever. And Gary and I are kind of in a fog for a little bit till we can kind of get our heads on straight and decide the path we should take. It was like a month later and you started getting in there and doing stuff again and then and then it's a matter of getting your energy back and then kind of slowly as time went on and I'm getting better I could get up and do a few things and do some more and do some more and now till now I'm full blast back into kitchen so kind of great to be at this part of it you're my hero have I told you awesome it's on this last one right here a long curing process but so worth the wait right Gare it's gonna oh, be yeah. worth the wait get it all shined up and ground down stove top I don't want something that's gray and I don't want something without any texture. And we were planning on doing some staining, but we're gonna kind of wait and see because look how pretty it is. And then it's not one color. I mean, cement is just all variable color, right? Maybe we'll just end up leaving it this color. It really is pretty and it's, it's light. I mean, color-wise, you know, it's not a real dark color, which we want light colors in our kitchen, except for the accents. I'm excited, I'm, I nice. can't wait. I even love it like this. <laughs> I know, me too, I agree. <laughs> you can really picture it now. Yeah. It's gorgeous. Yeah, wait till we get our butcher blocks in and our sinks. So we've been kind of working on getting the addition part of the house cleared out of all of my family stuff and kind of making it into our own. We have like our bedroom and the baby's room and the living room. And then we had this room that was a compilation of like all of my brother's stuff. <laughs> we thought maybe we'd turn it into an office workspace. Yeah, we've been kind of working out of it for the past few months just because it was the place where the computer ended up getting set up and it's where a lot of our editing was going on. And it's just hard to work in a cluttered environment. We were thinking that since this is kind of what we're doing anyway, we might as well do this room next and give ourselves a good work environment and set it up in kind of a cool way. out of the closet. It's a huge closet. <laughs> been really into a lot of creative projects recently and I thought of one that I have been dying to do. Take a sweatshirt, take it apart and dye all the sections a different color. My dyes are supposed to be here today. I like to be proactive so I figured I'd get started on seam ripping all the pieces that I want to dye separately and also bleaching it. I'm gonna give it a bleach after all the pieces are separated. So that's the plan. Three different colors. So this is actually the second soakage of bleach for my hoodie. But this is the second bleaching it's had and it's probably been in there for too long. I kind of thought I might wake up to goop again first time. But it looks like the garment has stayed in place. So I've gotten these 
from a darker pink than this. And I think this is the whitest I'm gonna be able to get out of this. I think that's pretty good. Now I'm gonna go ahead and give it a dye. I separated each piece with the different dyes that I wanna use. An aquamarine color, I have a little purple color, and then I also have a little lemon yellow color. Our water boiling up here, and we're gonna be dyeing this. Excited to get these a different color. Looking good. Ready. Thank you. Okay, I'm gonna let it drip here a little bit. They've only been in here like two minutes, but I don't want them any darker than that. Now I'm supposed to rinse them in cold water. Bryson grabbed a pair of his army pants. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. <laughs> cool, that's gonna be really cool. I'm excited. Oh, I can do green, because you know you want green. Oh yeah, green on the green, perfect. All this wood, this also is going to come out. That's just support? Yeah. For... We're going to support it for a good, good week or better. This is support. It all comes out. Oh, it does too. Yeah, so you just get a nice face. Oh, I didn't know that. Face. Yeah, no. Oh, that's going to be nice. Out. Yeah, there won't be any wood, no trim necessary. We're at the hospital, the, just to kind of keep people from, you know, spreading germs and kind of that kind of stuff. Had a bunch of these. So, I figured if it's good for germs, it'll be pretty good for dust. <laughs> ah, here we go. This part now with the sanding is a slow process, but it's an important one. Yeah, it feels like yeah, Karate Kid mm -hmm. with wax on, wax off. It's building up your arms, <clears throat> and that's a good thing. Yeah, big arms, strong. Taking your time on it is really important because when you're going to get the opportunity to do this again, this is the, a one-time thing here. Mm -hmm. It's just looking amazing. Can go hold? Is it strong? I think it will hold. What do you think? Here, let's test it. <laughs> <laughs> Gary, you happy with it? I'm real happy. Real yeah. happy. It's real strong. Breathe. Oh, that is amazing <laughs> to have <it> freestanding. <laughs> Looks like a spaceship floating on air. I'm looking forward to seeing the final product. It's much better than what I had expected. Gary kept saying concrete and I'd say, no, let's go epoxy. I was constantly trying to steer him away from concrete because I just thought, oh, I just can't imagine concrete. It's gonna just look so awful. But you kept reassuring, no, I can get it really smooth. I can get a color, we can stain it. We can do other things if you want. And I'm like, all right, let's do it. I do. Gary's got a good artistic eye and can't start doubting you now. <laughs> Too late now, I guess, since it's already poured, but... <laughs> no, 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 honey, I don't want the concrete. Can you rip that out, please? <laughs> Get a sledge. Wow, can you imagine tearing that up? Oof. We temporarily run around the edges of the stovetop and the cutting board and the sink over here so that we could drop the, the stovetop in, sink in, and get the uh, cutting board in. One, at least. Kind of wanted to get a few things to cook on. What else do you have to do to it still? Okay, we still have the rest of the countertops to sand. I have some special discs that are still supposed to be here. And they're gonna give us a little bit of a flatter, smoother finish. Oh, okay. and we also have the backsplash. Yeah, the backsplash. The backsplash. A little bit more, but it's getting close, isn't it, Dad? It is, it's, so it's cool. getting really close. Moving through the house, kind of making it all ours one step at a time. It's been Ellen's family home for years, and then I spent a lot of time over here too, growing up. As we go through and we put our touches on each room, it just makes it feel like more and more ours. It's kind of nice, really. Yeah. You know, you don't have to fix the whole house up before you move in. We're already in, and we just kind of move from room to room, getting it the way we want it. Now what we're gonna work on is the bed. My brother made this bed. It's pretty cool. He wanted the extra space, floor space. It's pretty heavy, so I'm not sure how we're gonna hold it while we unbolt it and drop it down. Do a little touch-up paint, a lot of paint. We lost the cover for touch-up. Yeah, and I think behind this whole bed is gonna be um, white. I like how we're taking the biggest room in the house and making it into the office. <laughs> Makes sense. We got our post. It's gonna hold up this side. I'm gonna hold that side while Ellie unscrews it. And then we'll be able to just set it down on the ground. Hopefully. Just like that, easy peasy. Beds down. That was quite the chore. Get paint in here. Sounds good. We have the paint that we were hoping would match, but clearly that does not match. Yeah. We have a gallon of that paint, and I don't think it'll cover the whole room. What we're thinking right now is that we'll paint half the room. So we'll paint 
this wall and this wall to cover up these two bad sides, which might be kind of weird, but it might just be like, you know, a, a design choice. Looks like we did it on purpose. Yeah, even yeah. though we just did it because we didn't have the right paint and didn't want to buy more to paint the whole room. Plus we didn't want to paint the whole room. Yeah. <laughs> we really didn't want to spend a lot of money to fix this room up because it's likely that it's going to be temporary. We're thinking it's either going to turn into a kid's room or a remodel to kind of phase us into carrying out the mobile home. We need to build a kitchen and a bathroom somewhere in the house. It's possible that walls might get removed in order to set a kitchen in or walls might get built to put a bathroom in. We're just not sure yet, but we know that this is one of the rooms that could possibly change. We finished painting the walls. They turned out really good. This is kind of purple. Yeah. It's supposed to be a gray. It blends pretty good over here, don't you think? Yeah, I think it does. I think it looks really good over there. Different, yeah. But we didn't have to buy more paint and that was the goal. I don't know, I might do this more if this works out. There's a decal on the back of this. I'm going to over the top of it. Yeah. Oh, okay. Just took like a white acrylic paint and I went over the top of the decals to make it easier. I've noticed the cloth really soaks in the color. White paint is really easy, it's cheap. The theme that I am going with is the real primary colors, which are yellow, cyan, and magenta. This is kind of purple, but it's close enough. Those are actually the real ones, not red, blue, and what is it? Red, blue, and yellow or something like this. Those are not the real ones. These are the the real ones. Science can prove it. Thought I would spread the word as well and embrace the real primary colors. So that's what I have all sketched out here. I go over it. Paint and my Poscas. Combining okay. these two mediums. The Posca pens and then just like paint. So the time has come to sew this back together, which is the scariest part of this project <laughs> for me. Shay was nice enough to let us use her Singer sewing machine, really super fancy, and she recommended doing this in chunks so it's easier to conquer. We're gonna have to sew the arm to the front of the jacket and the arm to the back of the jacket, which is gonna be an interesting sewage. Shay has come to save us. Sewing, I've decided, is just not my thing. I feel like <laughs> you, you gave up but obviously I'm here now. So where have you been, Shay? I got a job. Working full time, but she's around. It looks hard. Brand new purple pants. <laughs> Go ahead, I'm done. <laughs> the sweatshirt is all completed. I am super happy with it. I love all the different colors for the different sections. I am very pleased with this project. If you want to do a project like this too, please post a picture like on Twitter or Facebook. You can tag us. It'd be really cool to see what you do with your sweatshirts or your wardrobe if that's um, something that's up your alley. Uh, maybe you'll have a better time sewing it back together than I did. Well, I mean, it was easy for me. Everyone else did it. I got really <laughs> frustrated. <laughs> I'm easy going, so it was, uh... yeah, anyway. I think it looks good. Yeah, I like it. And it's also going to be really cool because this is going to be our like, kind of workspace slash sitting room. So we'll make this part like a couch and a little sitting area and then this will kind of turn into our office area on the gray side, so works. <laughs> it turned out really good. Uh, yeah, I really like it actually. You almost yeah. don't even notice it. If you're staring at the corner where it's like gray and, and other gray, <laughs> it, it's a little noticeable, but it's, it's kind of cool. It's so nice to have it organized. Mm -hmm. I was driving me. Crazy. <laughs> yeah, it was it was hard to work in here. We had it so just cluttered up and it was it was an odd room. But now Voila. Our countertops are not quite ready because I haven't sealed them yet, so they're not finished sanding and sealing. So we put these little covers on, protect from food splashing and, and stuff like that. So I ended up in the big butcher box. We got through Thanksgiving without more than just one little grease spot. Yeah, so those covers work pretty good. Mm -hmm. They're just little 99 mm -hmm. cent covers that you get Cheap down at the you know dollar store. Still using them, keep the dust off and other things that might be flying around. Yeah. Yes, that's worked out real well too. Thanksgiving's over, so it's time to start continuing our work here, sanding, getting anything smoothed out and getting it sealed. Really cool about the covers is that they offered us the ability to let the concrete cure properly and protect us from most stains. All right, and so it begins. Is that turkey grease? That's a turkey grease. Uh oh. You know what we could do if it becomes a problem? 
mm. get a bunch more grease and go. <laughs> <laughs> I don't need the sealer. We'll just cover it with grease. They got Problem it. solved. Got the new kit with the new sanding pads, uh, diamond type. I put a 50 grit on there, and it just brought that original top, which hasn't been touched yet, down really nice and flat. This is the old way I was doing it, just to get the sink in. And that's that's kind of rough. But you get over here and you go, ooh, that's kind of smooth. I could take it all the way up to 3,000 grit. 3,000 to 6,000 is what you get a nice finish on a car. Another part that came to our kit was our sealer that we're going to be using, this concrete countertop sealer that we're going to use. The tough deck is the one, I, after doing the research, seemed to pop up the most. I haven't used it, but I uh, just like what it represents. Drying time and application, it's all pretty simple. More, more sanding. Just in some spots. Stain's gone. Oh, yeah. Oh, wow, is that smooth. Beautiful. So beautiful. If you like that, you get close, you can kind of see the little rocks kind of getting shined up. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Oh, wow. That is like nice and smooth. We still have smoother to go yet. And look at the color. Spots coming out, like all the rocks and stuff. It's awesome, Dad. I'm just over the top happy with your decision on concrete. I'm glad you, you stuck to your guns on that. I just think that was the product to have in here. I love the overhang. It's just so cool. I just like hanging out, you know, over there. Who knows? We could do a kitchen table. We all sit around, dining room table oh, maybe. Oh, yeah. Mm. Out of concrete though? That yeah. Thing, we're not be moving that thing around much. No, 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 no. It stays where it's at. So nobody's going to be moving there. It's going to take us into next week. The sanding does take a lot of time to get to the finish that we want to have. And you wore out all those pads. The yeah. owner and other set were in the process of waiting for that second set to come. Yep. Hopefully get this finished up next week. Mm -hmm. It's the plan. Mm -hmm. Really happy with what's, what it has become. Can we do it for a while? I guess, yeah. Okay. I hate to say it, but you know mm. what I'm dreaming of now, and I, I shouldn't, I should keep my feet on the ground, but the outdoor kitchen. I have wanted an outdoor kitchen since the day we moved into this place. Yeah. And uh, actually, probably before, I can't help but think, oh, wow, we could bust this area out over here, and mm -hmm. pretty cool. But anyway, that's down the road. I could do concrete countertops out there. We got really good news. Gary got the test results back. Yeah, I'm not pregnant. <laughs> <laughs> I'm cancer free. That is the result. I am cancer free. I'm pretty excited about it. Yes. I, I learned to live another day. We also uh, hit 200,000 subscribers. Yep. Best day ever. Yeah. Thank you for that monthly support on Patreon. And we're close to the 200, like really close. I have to get there before the end of the year. So we've got a little bit of time left. Yep. I'm very excited. I think it was Jocelyn who told me that uh, 2020 is clear vision. Ooh, clear vision. I love that. <laughs> clear vision. I'm wearing glasses. <laughs> Me too. You won't okay. have to in, I 2020. Won't have, in 2020, I can get rid of the glasses. That's I right. love it. Right. Except this week, you may have seen some new videos have been coming out throughout the week. On Mondays, we now have our podcast. They're hour long. They're just audio. It's something that you can just put on in the background while you're doing the dishes, or the laundry, or getting the kid ready to school, or maybe you're going to work, or maybe you're doing the homework. We keep you company through any tasks that you want to do. On Wednesdays, we have our recaps. Now, our recaps are just one little subject. If you don't have a lot of time and you just want to catch a little segment, that's what those Wednesday shows are for. The t-shirt design of the week is Break the Mold. If you'd like to get this on a t-shirt, sweatshirt, sweatshirt jacket, wonderful for the winter, you can find our merch shop link down in the description along with all of the other designs that we've done throughout the weeks. You can find them all down there. We really appreciate you being a part of our family and we look forward to hanging out with you more on Monday. <laughs> Bye. Gary found the coolest thing on the internet today. He found a sink that was done in wood. Yeah, it was like two by 12 wood framed in. It was so cute. And, and then, then epoxy. Epoxied all the way through. Yeah. I imagine that would get scraped up really bad, but that was really cool. Gary yeah. says, if that sink ever goes out, we have an option. Yeah, <laughs> it's a, yeah, we could find some materials to make it work. That'd be cool. Our family moved from the city to the country. Thanks for taking part in our adventure. We have new videos every Friday evening. If you would like to help us out, you can like this video, share it, subscribe, or support us on Patreon. See the links in the description. Jay's going to show me how to put it all back together again. Humpty Dumpty as we have so lovingly named it. 
Okay, are you done? Yeah. Boogie. Go <laughs> ahead, <laughs> 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 I'm done. <laughs>